In a very recent, very short video, I challenged people to guess what was inside this brown paper bag. The only clue that I gave people was I'd be using it to help me make a hot cup of tea. The guesses came pouring in. People guessed at stove and various different variations of stove. People guessed that it was a kettle, various different variations of kettles. One person guessed it was a microwave, various different versions of a microwave. Whilst most of you, with the exception of the microwave, were kind of in the right ballpark, you were all ultimately wrong. Perhaps if I'd said that I was using this in conjunction with this, my long-standing favourite outdoor wood burner gasifier stove, the Ohuhu stove, some of you might have got a little closer to the correct answer. Keep watching to find out what's in the bag. Regular viewers and subscribers will know that if I'm not having a traditional kind of open fire out in the woods, that I do like to use this Ohuhu wood gasifier stove. I've made many videos of this and I'll link to them at the end of this video. So if you want to see this in action outside of this video, then stay tuned to the end of the video. All of the videos I've done so far use finger thickness type pieces of wood stood up in there and it burns very well, it burns very efficiently, it burns very hot and it's good enough to make a brew and, some, and, and fry something up quickly. But this type of fuel isn't the only type of fuel that you can use in here, which brings me on nicely to the contents of that bag. Have you guessed yet? One of the things that that stove will burn, aside from standard kind of dead standing twigs and small pieces of wood, one of the things it's designed to burn, according to all the reviews and YouTube videos I've seen, is this type of stuff, wood pellets. And that's why I said in the teaser video that I put out that it was something that was very standard and traditional, wood, but in a slightly different and more modern way, wood pellets. These are BioLite, BioLite biofuel pellets. I'll try and say the word bio more in that description, but that's it there. That's what I'm going to be burning today. I did a little bit of research and to be perfectly honest, I went for the, the kind of cheapest, smash, smallest bag that I could find just in case I didn't get on with these. Now it's taken me a while to come around to the idea of using these because to be perfectly honest, when I'm out bushcrafting, I, I, I try and kind of stick to the essence of bushcraft and using your immediate surroundings as much as I can, which is why all the videos you've seen me using that stove in, in the past, I've used those kind of, you know, five, six centimetre length finger slash thumb thickness pieces of wood in there because I've been using what is around me. However, that's not always going to be the case. I may not always be able to find something in the right condition. I'm also mindful that since moving house, this woodland that you see me in today is, is the first time I've been in this woodland. I don't have permission to be in here having fires as such, like I did in all of the other videos you've seen me in, in the past where I'm in the woodland. So I'm trying to sort of reduce the impact that I have on this woodland, and I'm also trying to reduce my signature, if you like, of being here as much as I can. So that's why I've chosen to bring these fuel pellets along, so I'm not taking anything from the woodland to burn. Uh, I'm probably leaving less of a scar behind me. And if I'm being honest, thinking about putting the umbrella up, if I need to, 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 to talk my way out of this, then I think these are a, are a safer option uh, and, a, and, and a perceivably safer option than just burning sticks of wood and things like that. So fingers crossed I don't need to do any explaining, but it, I thought it was just a good idea to test these out anyway, because they are a viable alternative. Um, enough waffle, let's see if they burn, let's see if they're able to make me that hot cup of tea that I've been promising myself for a little while now. That ground and leaf and needle litter has now been cleared away down to bare earth. There's my bag. No particular science behind this. Just pouring it in there. Now at that stage, it may be hard for you to tell from the angle you're at, but at that stage, I filled up the, the inner tray, the inner bow, bowl that sits within this stove. It's removable. I've kind of filled that up level to the top now. 
what I'm now going to do is probably just add another centimetre or two so I've completely obscured the edge of that bowl and I'm starting to work my way up towards these small air vent holes here. I certainly don't want to fill it up above and beyond those because it's those that uh, allow the secondary burn to take place in these stills. So I'm just going to fill it slightly higher than it is now, maybe another centimetre or so. There, again, no science behind this. I've not weighed these out. I've not measured these out. I'm just doing it by eye at the moment. And once I've got a good gauge as to how long that will burn for, I can determine in the future whether I'll bring out slightly less or slightly more. The bag also comes with a couple of these fire starters. I'm not entirely sure what's in them or on them, but they smell gorgeous. They smell better than me, to be honest. So I'm gonna partially submerge that so as it starts to burn, it can ignite what's around it. I wouldn't normally use these ready-made fire lighters. It's certainly not something that I would go out and buy, but as they were contained within the bag anyway, I'll give them a go. Obviously, I would typically use, which I've got on me, some birch bark or something akin to that. But seeing as I've got those ready-made fire lighters that they came with the bag, I'll just give them a little try out today. The stove is ready to go. I've got a black metal mug of water and lid almost full, good to go. And I've also got my phone just at the edge there, ready to um, set the timer. So once this, is, once this has got an established burn and that's uh, the actual pellets of caught, not just the fire lighter, I'll start that. So not only will I get a cup of tea out of this, but also get an idea as to how long that would typically burn in these sorts of conditions. Let's get it going. certainly caught very easily that, uh, that ready-made fire lighter but I guess that's exactly what they're designed to do that's what you're paying for so it caught well I'm not putting the mug on yet because to me that's you know the flame the heat that we've got from that is not coming from the wood pellets it's coming from the fire starter so I'm not going to keep you lingering on there watching this burn down and catch I'll bring you back once it's actually caught once those pellets are starting to burn and we'll get the mug on and set the stopwatch. I did say the next time you saw me I'd have a brew in hand, but <laughs> it's clearly not the case, is it? This has just come to a rolling boil, and I mean within the last 30 to 45 seconds it's come to that rolling boil you see there, and it has been burning, since I started the stopwatch, 22 minutes and 40, so let's say, I don't know, let's say 21 minutes by the time I've got the camera in focus and things. So 20 to 21 minutes that had been burning before it brought it to a rolling boil. Um, I mean, I have my own thoughts on that, but it just seemed a hellishly long time. I could have walked home and put the kettle on at this rate, rather than wait for this to come to a rolling boil. Of course, it wasn't all just about how quickly it comes to a boil. It was also about how long that, that amount of fuel actually lasts. So that was part of the experiment, but I have to say it's not winning not winning any favours with me at the moment in terms of that initial burn time and that ability to bring a relatively small mug of water to the boil. I'm just about to dive into that brew and a sandwich that I've brought out with me and I've just glanced down at the stove I've, re I've removed the pot stand so you can get a better a better view of this but it's really I mean I've just slated it for how long it took to boil a mug but I have to say the amount that it's burnt so far and it's been burning now for the better part of let's have a look 29 minutes let's call it half an hour amongst friends there's barely anything disappeared there's 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 still a lot of fuel let's show you there's still a lot of fuel below that charred surface that you can see there. I'm not going to move the camera any closer, but you might just be able to see on the right hand side some of the, the natural brown colour of the pellets that haven't been anywhere close to being burnt yet. So yes, it took a long time to boil a mug of water, but actually, to be fair, half an hour later and it's barely touched the amount that I put in. So in terms of, of a long term stuff, so if you're not in a rush to get 
the brew on if you're not in a rush to be able to cook anything or if you want to be able to cook a great deal that might take some time to do this is doing a so far seems mm -hmm. to be a really really good job of that be really interesting to see just what my stopwatch has reached by the time I decide to call it a day on this burn rate so didn't impress me on the the, uh, the time it took to boil a mug but it is impressing me on just how long it is burning for maybe I need to eat my words staring down into the abyss although there's no visible flames or anything like that and as you can see on screen now there's been a, a really great job of the uh, of, of producing a really good hot flame pouring out of those gasifier holes at the side I just put my hand over yeah I mean you'd, you'd struggle to keep a hot brew warm I mean that's been well over five seconds there and is no. so I would say the heat has gone from that now and if we look at the time we're at an hour and two minutes and actually it's been in that state for about two minutes so I would say what I filled it up to lasted for argument's sake an hour of, of workable heat of workable flame was about an hour yeah there's still some heat there and if I was if I was really struggling I would probably benefit from that heat but to be perfectly honest at this stage I would say that it's, it's had its moment and I got an hour's worth of burn time out of that um, out of that filling that I put in there at the beginning of the video I don't I don't mind admitting when I'm wrong it really happens but when it does I don't mind admitting that I'm wrong earlier on in this video I, when I sort of talked about how long it took to actually just um, bring that mug of water to a boil I'd kind of started mentally rehearsing how much I was going to slate it at the end of the video I'd kind of started to, to almost build up this mental script in my head and I take it all back I have to say that that gave me an hour's worth of burn time from what is comparatively a really really small amount of fuel very 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 impressed with that I've been thinking and reading <laughs> the instructions what the instructions say is load pellets did that mix several pieces of fire starter into the top layer of pellets and I didn't if you remember I put a single block big piece in partially submerged it and lit that and of course that was only one point of ignition so that had to radiate and spread out taking time I do wonder if I'd placed in several pieces in fact I am absolutely confident if I'd placed in several pieces of of um, of tinder at the top whether it was the the man-made stuff or whether it was silver birch bark or something like that that it would have that top layer would have ignited quicker would have got a quicker boost of flames and my water would have boiled more quickly so I'm going to take that back um, because I think I did it wrong and I'm also going to take it back because actually the amount of Ta the amount of burn time it gave me for me far outweighs the fact that it took so long to boil that initial piece of uh, that initial mug of water an hour's worth of burn rate off off a really small amount of fuel I'm very very impressed with that yes I've been burning these biolite wood pellets in this but for those of you that have not seen me use this stove with more traditional you know twig type fuel then there's a couple of videos appearing up on the screen now that will give you more of an insight into how I use that fuel and how I load that fuel because it's very very easy you can't get this wrong <laughs> although I did I, you pour it in and off you go whereas if you're using finger thickness type fuel there is a you know you can potentially load it in correct so feel free to check those videos out and if you're not yet a subscriber you know what to do about that by now see you again very soon folks it has been brilliant to be out in the woods again recording a video um, and I'm sure that now lockdown is starting to lift and I've got some woodland that I've you know I found some woodland that these will become better we'll get back to the old routine of these being at least on a weekly basis take care folks stay safe